Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to everybody that said happy birthday to me. I got so many happy birthdays. I was like, oh my God, thank you. But let's see what's going on for Aquarius, Spirit Guides of the Night, Ancestors and Masters, my angel of the night. So we have the lovers here. Okay, can we get into a Gemini? What else? We have the King of Swords, so arrogant energy coming through. You can be connected to any air sign or a Taurus. Okay, I just first have Gemini in their chart. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords, another Gemini card coming out. And we have the Four of Swords, Libra energy. Okay, so a lot of swords okay so i'm seeing here that somebody had a choice to make okay this person made a hit over hard decision okay i'm also seeing here that you had to make a hit over hard decision as well okay because this person wasn't aligning with you okay it's like it could have been a lot of passion there you know some of you guys get you like this with your twin flame but y'all had like a strong spiritual connection and this person came into your life to cheat you um, a lesson <clears throat> and to speak up for yourself because I'm seeing my throat is trying to close up okay yeah ten of swords it, it was a painful ending okay this person could have betrayed you okay this person was in karmic energy for sure okay this person had deep wounds as well that they needed to heal okay and this person could have been dealt with the karmic as well and you know they was like used to repeat that same cycle this person you know liked their routine or they were just used to it they couldn't get rid of somebody. This person know how to speak up for themselves, you know? It's like y'all was marrying each other. You could have had a karmic on your end as well, okay? But with the four of swords here, I'm seeing here that you're resting. Okay, you're relaxing. You could be meditating. Okay, I'm seeing here you're, you're recuperating. Okay, you're, you know, you spend time in solitude. Okay, I'm seeing here as well that this person could want to have a renewal with you. Okay, because I'm seeing here that you, you know, left this person. Okay, or they could have left you, you know, and that really hurted you a lot. You know, this person had to make a choice. And so I'm seeing that this person wanted to have both of you guys or whoever else that was in the picture, you know. And you felt defeated because it's like you was trying to either wait on this person or, you know, speak some sense to this person on what they needed to do or who they was dealing with. And it's like, you know, they went to do their own thing, you know. And you feel like you wasted your breath. You wasted your time. But, you know... Yeah, this person was helping you with your shadow self. Because it's either you was kept getting in karmic cycles with people or dealing with, you know, people that had wounds that they needed to heal. I'm also seeing here, this was teaching you how to have integrity, okay? Because you could have either been dealing with people that was dealing with people already And the King of Swords is a father energy. So yeah, this person could have either stayed in a situation with, with somebody that they had a child with. Because either the history or they just knew this person and they knew that this person wasn't going to leave them. You know, I'm seeing here it's like you either challenged this person and this person didn't like to be challenged. They either felt like you were trying to control them or some way, but you wasn't. You know, you were just trying to help them out. But they took it the wrong way. This person mindset and their outlook on things is horrible. And I think it's come from the fact that they either been betrayed or these deep wounds. This person can either feel like a failure, like they feel like they're not where they want to be in life. <clears throat> so that could have either been their main focus is trying to get back on their feet. What else? We have the Ace of Wands. Yeah, I'm seeing here it was a sexual connection for sure. Okay. I'm also seeing here it's like now since you is in like like in quietness. I don't know if that's a word, but, if, you know, it's like you at peace, you know, with the four of swords here. You, I'm seeing here you could be mentally exhausted from dealing with this person. Okay, but I'm seeing here it's like now you either been having an urge to create or start a new project here. Okay, or you either have a new opportunity coming in towards you. We have a six of wands here. Yeah, I'm seeing here whatever project that you got going on here is going to be very, very 
successful, okay? But yeah, I'm seeing here that you're progressing. You're just taking baby steps, okay? Because this really did hurt you, okay? <clears throat> what else? I'm seeing here that this person is thinking about this situation as well. Like either when they lay down, okay? We have the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I'm seeing here this person was trying to be in and out with you. You know, it's like they want to come in and have sex with you and then leave, you know? I'm seeing here that this person with the King of Swords, they couldn't be acting very detached or like they didn't care or they couldn't feel like you was acting that way. Aquarius, you know, like you didn't care about them. They either feel like you was betraying them in some type of way. If you was dealing with somebody else, they could have felt like you was laying up with somebody else, having sex with somebody else. They either feel like they wasn't pleasing you the right way. Yeah, this person always was in their head, okay? Very insecure for sure, okay? Somebody here could be in the spotlight. I'm seeing here that this person could have cared about what everybody else think. Like they either tried to put on this facade, like, you know, they don't care about nothing. Like, they're carefree, you know, like they don't catch feelings. They just want one thing, even though they did, but I'm seeing they end up catching feelings for you, you know? But it's like they had to keep their composure, like, I'm a player, like, I can't. It's giving future, like, this person thought that they was future, you know? Like, this person could have been gullible. They didn't have a matter of their own. They could have been around people that was doing the same shit, cheating on their partner and shit like that. But with the Seven of Swords here, yeah, this person was very manipulative, okay? They were deceptive. This person was trying to act strategic with you for whatever reason. They probably thought that you was doing the same thing. Like I said, it's like y'all both could have been marrying each other, you know? I'm sitting here, you could have just wanted sex out of this person after a while. Like, you know, this ain't going nowhere. Like, I'm going to just use you for one thing, you know? <clears throat> I'm also saying you could be like very attractive, you could get a lot of attention, and this person didn't like that. I'm saying here they could have been dealing with somebody here that really didn't take care of themselves, probably wasn't as attractive as you. You know, I'm gonna keep it a buck, okay? <clears throat> so it's like they felt like you know that person was gonna stay with them because it's like you're attractive, you get a lot of attention, and it's like they could have been dealing with somebody that wasn't attractive as you, they didn't get a lot of attention, you know. Somebody that, that that they can control, you know. Somebody, it's like this person preying on whoever that they're dealing with weaknesses. Like they knew that this person was insecure about their looks or something like that. So they're like, all right, I'm gonna make you feel good, boost your ego, you know. But they didn't need to boost your ego because you already knew that you was like bad as fuck. You feel me? He was confident. In yourself, you know. What else? I'm also seeing here. It's like whatever you're trying to create for yourself, spirit is saying, do it. Like, what are you waiting for? Okay, take action. We have the two of cups here. Yeah, see, this person wanted to be in a connection with you. They loved you genuinely, you know. But it's like this person was just in this energy where it was just like they was being tricky. They was being sneaky, you know. This person had commitment issues or they just had to keep up some type of image here or they didn't know how to go about the situation with you or how to heal. Okay, I'm seeing here that this person could be creative. Ten of Wands. Yeah, it's like this person was holding on to baggage, you know, burdens and pain from like just life in general, you know, that they never let go of or heal from or talked about. Or get help with, you know. So it's like it really messed up what y'all had going on, you know. What well, could have been? I'm also seeing if this person could have worked a lot, could have had a lot of responsibilities. What else? We have a swords. Yeah, I'm seeing here that. You want like a commitment with this person, you know, like you wanted the marriage, all that with this person, but it's like this person had a lot going on, literally. And it's like, you got mental clarity, like, you know, I'm seeing it's like, you knew, like you started feeling like you had a grudge against this person or this person was just burdening you with their problems and shit. And it's just like, that was enough clarity for you to move forward. Yeah, it's the cups. Now you're going towards a new love. The ace of cups here. Okay, you can have feelings for a new person.
I'm also saying that this person is very 3D. Like you could have been a 5D, you know? And it's like this person just stuck with sex, money, cars, clothes, hoes, you know? That was their mentality. Yeah, so that's beautiful for that to be the last card of the read in Ace of Cups, okay? So, I'm also saying it's better to be compassionate towards this person as they're going through like these moments in their life. This person can have like a mental illness or something or they could have just felt trapped and restricted. And I'm saying that this person could have went to jail a lot and it's like them going to jail just make them feel like disgusted with themselves, like... They feel like a victim. Yeah, but show this person compassion while they're going through this. Okay, wish them well. Send love this person away. Because I really feel bad for them. You know, I really do. But I hope this video gave you guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.